Transform Next 2022 and a very special opportunity. I'm here with my friend Fabian at Fraunhofer. This is interesting, and I'm really glad you're able to do this. Our normal director of photography had to go back to Malta, so this is running on a GoPro. Hey, GoPro. What is Fraunhofer doing? Fraunhofer is a big German research institute. I'm in the department, uh, department of biomechatronics, and what I'm doing is developing a printing process for multi-material additive manufacturing to create complex functions, electrical functions in one machine. So, in, okay, that's a lot of words. I understand that, <laughs> and it's really complex, but the reason I came over here is because they are 3D printing wire. Wire within a material covering. So behind me, you have a PLA piece on the build plate, yep. and you can print wire, I grab one, wire directly onto it. That's correct. What we're doing is the printer measures, measures the sheet to get the coordinate system uh, right, and then we develop the printing process and the tooling head to integrate wires into the printing process. And we're completely free on, on the materials we're using. We can use any wire material, any polymer, this hasn't to be a printed part. You can take your ABS part from injection molding, place it in the machine, start your print, you're good to go. Printing all the cable needed, all the sensors needed in one process, completely automated. It's incredible how this does this because the tool itself has a standard nozzle, yep. but there is a, is it, is it a needle that the wire is being fed through? It's an injection needle we use. And what we're doing here is feeding the wire onto the part and then extruding a polymer up on the wire to encapsulate it. What we have here is a completely encapsulated wire. It's electrically safe, it's mechanically safe, it's uh, perfectly bonded to the underlying surface. And uh, we can do a lot of different stuff with this. This is, this is amazing how it does it. And this is on uh, a rotational axis yeah. as well. So the wire is always behind the nozzle. Yeah. What's really great is when you're printing, it doesn't have to return home. Yeah. It just keeps rotating no yeah. matter keeps where you're rotating. Going. So that we, when we have to print coils for, um, for electromagnetic actuators, we can print any coil you want. We don't have to stop anywhere. So this is game-changing tech, and we're gonna show you now some actual examples of why this is cool, and this is gonna blow your mind. Right now, you're hearing a sound, and I can hold it up to my microphone here, and this is a speaker, yep. fully 3D printed all at once. Yep in one go without any manual interaction and it works and we can take it out of it of the uh, shell you see here the the actor element was completely printed and this is uh, just um, the way you would build a conventional speaker so what we have here is a single print process yeah uh, this is an abs part printed directly onto a tpu film then we pick and place another tpu film to create this nice linear motion here. <laughs> it was printed in place. Yep. Including the electronic or the wire needed to run the yep. power and the sound. And we can do this by uh, the technology we developed for integrating wires. So we developed the technology, the printhead, and all the, the stuff you need for running this in the printer, which gives us this result. We can print flat coils, we can print directly onto flexible film materials. Here's the TPU for, uh, film. So this is, pr this is wire printed directly on TPU. Yeah. So like, this, this part here, this was wire printed on the PLA, yeah. and so the, the, the container for the, the wire is PLA. Yeah. But here, because you're printing onto a TPU sheet, then the wire is contained within a TPU. So what we're doing is we're encapsulating the wire in a polymer, and we're always choosing the polymer according to the substrate material, so that we can get an optimal adhesion. The other application that we were talking about, really, it was another mind-blowing thing, because the example was this. This is a very difficult piece to print, yeah. naturally. There's a lot of, there's overhangs, and there's, there's curves, and depending on if you're laying it down in, the, in, this, in this planar way, then the stresses on the object could, could break it. Yeah. And so what's a way to fix that? And you showed me this, but it's got a secret inside, so what's going on? Yeah, um, these are some, uh, some pieces we plan for uh, printed prothesis and orthesis. So this is meant to, to secure your finger uh, when you hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. And what you already mentioned, uh, in the normal way FDM or FFF processes work, this would be a really hard to get part. Um, and what we're doing is we're integrating our wires. What we could, uh, can do best 
And here we integrated heating wires. And through these heating wires, we can heat the structure. And we all know this, PLA, this is a PLA part, loses its stiffness at around 60 degrees. So we're heating it to 60 degrees. It gets uh, like a TPU, it gets really soft. And what we can do, we can bend it around the patient, around the finger, fully individualizing the, the shape of the material, um, the shape of the part, and fixing it to your finger, and letting it cool down, it stays in the shape. See, that's, that, that's mind blowing because when we talk about ways of, of holding, for example, a broken finger, a lot of times the casts are, they're, they're either water-based or they are, there's, there's gauze. Uh, printed, printed prosthesis, printed orthesis are great, but for, for such simple applications, the process of scanning and of manufacturing the part is too complicated, it takes too long, it takes up to three to five days. And with this technology, we have a fully individualized part in five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. And, the, and the, the applications here are, are incredible for uh, things like emergency medicine. That's amazing. They don't have to carry typical things. They can make a customized piece just with a little bit of electricity and bending it into yeah. shape. It's the basic idea that we so cool. should stop printing parts uh, in the way we need it, but should start printing parts in the way the printer is, is perfectly fit to print them. Plan a part. You heat around your, your elements you want to fix, and you're done. And with orthotics, if, uh, if someone changes, like if it needs to grow or shrink, they don't necessarily need to get a new orthotic. They just need to get their current orthotic reshaped. Correct. <laughs> yeah, and also printing is, is really uh, cost efficient. This part uh, costs around six cents. In, six in, cents? Yeah, in production. Six cents. Yeah, but we don't stop there. We can, in this technology, incorporate any wire material we want. So when you have uh, sensing wires for load sensing capabilities, we can print every function you want. When you have the right material, when you have your, the right substrate material, nearly anything is possible. Oh, this is fun. Real new technology. We're, uh, we're researching on this for, for what, one and a half years to get to this state. And we have a lot of crazy ideas. We're planning on integrating uh, optical conductors for light transmission. We are planning of uh, integrating uh, micro capillar tubings for liquids. Right, capillary actions, yep. And just being able to flow, oh, that's really cool. Well, I know there's a lot of form next still to go, <laughs> and people out there are gonna be really interested in what we talked about. So there's, there they are right now, look at the camera, and let them know where they can go to find out more information about yeah. this. Uh, yeah. I know the Fraunhofer Association is quite complicated, but you're gonna do this. You find the Fraunhofer <laughs> IWU online, and there you find us. Well, that's easy. And I'll put a link down in the description as well, just to make sure there's something for you to click. Maybe, my friend, this was incredible. Thank you so much for taking the time to explain it to us. And uh, I hope you have a really good rest of Formex, man. Yeah, you too.